Journaling offers a beautiful route to transport us away from our busy lives. So at Easter, I like to seize the moment and create a page about peace and calm. In this week's video, I'm using watercolour paints, a stamp and paper to create a spread which reflects this mood. I hope to inspire your creativity, your love of paper and playing with paint. And if, like me, you really do have that passion for paper and you love junk journals, then hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell because I have lots more videos and ideas to come. And this week's video is a special collaboration around the Easter theme. I really hope you enjoy it. I start by choosing a page to work on in this journal and it's the one that we've been using for a few weeks now. I begin by getting rid of the white. And I choose this really fresh green to daub across the page. Just a very simple colour wash in a few different shades of green. And here I'm just changing the brush to get a slightly different effect on the paper. So feel free, be creative and just have fun getting some colour on the page. And I do feel much better now that it's not white. I'm stamping on some old book pages, so here I'm just choosing which of these old books to use. The first one has a much smoother surface, whereas this Elizabeth Googe book seems to be a bit more absorbent. So I choose a couple of pages and I'm all set up, ready to stamp. I ink up using a really basic black ink pad. And I'm just creating a crisp image by pressing down really firmly all over this foam stamp. I like to have a stash of hand stamped ephemera. And here you can see a variety of flowers that I've either just stamped or stamped and painted before. And I just want to do something similar for today's spread to create a focal point. I find it really useful to have a collection ready to draw on, but for today's spread I need to produce something new. And anyway, it's fun to do, so let's do some painting. I've mixed up a shade of green that I like, not too dark, still with that fresh feel. And I'm just using the same little water brush to fill in the leaves and then the petals. I really like using old book pages in my junk journals. I stamp on them, I make envelopes and I make pockets from old book pages. And if you're interested, I have a couple of videos just walking through the steps really simply for making pockets and envelopes. So do take a look if you're interested in that. And I know that Tuesday Hubbard, who is in this week's collaboration, is also keen on mixed media as well as scrapbooking. So do take a look at Tuesday's channel as well and I'll leave a link in the description box down below. I'm using a little bit of red on the stamens of the flowers and just a few squiggles here to show that the flower is planted into the earth somehow. And here we have a painted lily ready for a little bit more decoration, a little bit more paper piecing. I've grabbed a few pieces of paper from my stash and these are just a mixture of patterns and colours, things with the right tone and colour but with contrast as well. Confession time, I'm not very organised even though it might look like I am on this video. If you want to see organisation take a look at Natalie Bower's channel who has a fantastic couple of videos on how she organises her craft kit. I love the look of this gold paper so I just tear a little strip off that. And I'm just testing where it might go and applying some glue from a glue stick to attach it to the paper. So at this stage it's nothing too scientific, it's just pull what you like and have some fun. And I'm just tearing a little piece of this spotty dotty paper to go underneath as well. Just gluing it on to get a little bit of a layered effect here. And here I'm just taking out some of the white on the torn edge of the paper. 
first with a little bit of the green and then just with some darker brown to give a more natural effect. I've been making tags this week with a page from one of my beautiful flower books and I thought I'd just go through a few simple steps for how I make tags that seem to work really well as an embellishment but also make the most of some of the pretty pictures in our books that we have. And each of these tags is just made from one of these very simple pieces of grey cardstock. Each little piece of grey card is about 7 centimetres by 15 centimetres, which is approximately 2 and 3 quarter inches by 6 inches. And the first thing I do is add glue so that I can cover it with a piece of beautiful vintage book paper. This is actually a page from a lovely happy mail that I was sent by Natalie Bowers last week. Just cutting around it here and I do keep all of those little pieces because they get used in lots of ways in my junk journals. Here I'm cutting the corners off and the corners are two centimetres down and two centimetres across from that corner tip. And again, a little bit of colour wash, but I'm not covering the whole of the tag. I'm just adding a little bit of swooshing left to right to give some interest and some depth. And I quite like that the colour varies. It's not just a constant colour. So again, just really easy, an easy embellishment to add to your stock. And this is just a little piece left over from a page from my Henry Terry Book of Flowers. This is another page from Natalie and I'm just having a go, having a look to see what the impact is of each of the pictures and whether the proportions look and feel right on the tag. And I think I like this one best so I'm just going to trim it down so it'll fit the tag. And I'm quite cunning about where I trim so that I preserve the picture of that little raspberry coloured flower as well. And here I trim on the other side of the picture. And I just feel like it needs a bit of corner rounding. Gluing it down with my trusty liquid glue. And at this point I think it looks okay but it's not too interesting so I think we just need to add one or two more things. So the final touches and details here are firstly a little bit of faux stitching. So that's around the flower and then more broadly around the tag itself. And I like to add just a little bit of washi tape on the top. It just gives that finishing touch. and a contrasting piece of washi on the bottom right here. And as it's Easter, a little bit of handwriting, Easter and peace. And I feel that brings the tag together. Let me know what you think. And a few more words on the Easter theme, and this week it's Shakespeare. Now daisies pied and violets blue, and lady smocks all silver white, and cuckoo buds of yellow hue do paint the meadows with delight. The cuckoo now on every tree sings cuckoo, cuckoo. I just grab a piece of my scrap paper to write on. 
and just like we did last week I'm using a really dark black pen. And now it's just time to bring it all together on a page in the journal. So just thinking how to position this lily. Do I put it on the edge? Do I put it in the middle? What looks right? Rounding a corner here before I stick it down. I think it's really exciting at this point when a page comes together. When that vision that you had at the beginning comes to fruition on the page. Something very personal and magic happens when it all comes together. Just pressing it down very well. And I want to add this pocket that I've made up previously. It's just a really simple single pocket. And I'm just attaching it with a piece of washi in toning blues and greens. And this gives me a fold out and a little space to add some extra little pieces of paper and journaling cards when I want to write on the page. And I'm just choosing which of these tags works best. Sometimes you can have a plan but I, I find that you have to adapt as you go and just see what works. And in the end I do choose the one that we made today. And I'm just attaching that so that it works as a pocket on the page, so I've glued on two sides. And I really like the way all of the greens and yellows and the flashes of black work together now. And the text from our little piece of Shakespeare just tucks in behind the tag. And I feel like it needs just a couple more details to finish it off. So I'm doing an intentionally wiggly hand-drawn border here with a few of these cross hatches just to break up the line. And that just gives our book page and the flower on the left hand side a little bit of definition. And the final bit of detail is just a few red sequins. And I'm just positioning them typically at the corners of the pages. And here we have our Easter collaboration spread. I really do hope you've enjoyed this process. If you have, hit that subscribe button, ring the little notification bell and I'll see you next week for some more junk journaling. <laughs>